Last month, I made over $100,000 with one single client in the span of 30 days, and we're on track to do even more this month, and we continue to scale up and scale up. And in this video, I kind of wanted to expose slash ex accurately explain um, the business that I run and the business model that I do and the business model that I promote. And a lot of you guys have heard of this, this new wave of growth operating. Um, it's kind of a corny ass term to be honest, but that's what people call it. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta run with it. I'm a growth operator, you know what I'm saying? And I've been in this game for some time now, around six months or so, I've been a growth operator per se. Um, I've been in online business for over a year and nothing really, really clicked for me, but this actually did click for me. So again, I wanted to explain it in an accurate way because the way it's uh, presented and from most of the creators pushing it is completely wrong. And just for a little bit of social proof for myself, I just last month alone, I did over $200,000 in sales uh, with just two or three clients, which is pretty incredible. Um, I won the school games. Uh, I met Alex Ramosi, I met Sam Ovens. Just a few months ago, I was living with my parents. Now I live in a cool apartment. I can buy fancy, expensive watches. I have a decent car. I can go where I want, when I want. I'm actually going to Miami tomorrow just for fun, just cause I can. And I can do all these online guru things that people do. And it's really fun, honestly. Like I fuck with it a lot. Um, I say this not to flex on you, not to be that guy that pushes that stuff in your face, but just for the people to kind of, that need to kind of see it to believe it. I actually make money doing what I'm talking about on my channel. I just, I don't only sell a program or something like that. I literally have a consulting group with 10 people in it right now. So I could care less just so you guys know, I don't have an agenda going into this, this video. You guys can kind of drop your guard and listen to me explain what this business is, what this business model is about, and the, the truth to it, and what you actually should expect going into this, um, especially as a beginner. Because there's only a few people that are really talking about this on YouTube, and uh, all of them actually have a program that they, that's the only way they make their money. So none, I don't think any of them actually have their own clients. But that being said, actually just yesterday, I relaunched one of my client's offers. We did 11.5K in a single day, which was really awesome. Um, on a higher ticket offer. So I really do this shit. I really do this shit. Um, I have clients actively, I'm learning actively, and I really just make YouTube videos for the pure fact of building my personal brand and meeting other people. In fact, that's actually how I get the majority of my clients is they watch my case study videos and they'll hit me up. And uh, it's pretty cool. I really enjoy making YouTube videos. And honestly, whatever you've heard about this business model online um, from any YouTuber, uh, it's probably 1000% inaccurate from what's actually going on and what it actually takes to be doing this at a scale and actually make money from it. And that is exactly why I wanted to make this video to give you guys kind of a general overview of what to expect, but also an accurate one. Um, cause I don't think there's a single person on YouTube talking about what it actually means to be a growth operator and what it actually means to make money doing it. Um, everything is just completely skewed. But the great thing about this business model is that one client can actually can change your life. One client changed my life. One client made me enough money to be able to move out and live on my own and um, live a cool life. And then from there, I just kind of built on it, built my clients up, client base up and started making more and more and more money and allowed me to go on YouTube and talk about it and meet people through online. And it's helped me build my personal brand. It's been insane. It's been an insane journey. And that's the only reason why I talk about this business model is because it actually can change your life. Now, is it meant for you? I don't know, we'll get into that. So first things first, let's talk about what what are they actually saying on the internet? Like, what are they telling you? What do you probably know about growth operating? And what do you understand about it? Because again, it's probably completely wrong. A few angles that it's being pitched as. There's a few people that kind of blew up the space in general and they the way they talk about growth operating and what they pitch to you is really, 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 really inaccurate. And so this is probably what you've heard. What they say is you wanna pair up with a content creator, any content creator with followers on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or whatever it is, you DM them and you say, hey, let me build you a paid school community for $27 a month and based off your 100,000 followers, 1% will convert, convert to that and we'll be at $10,000 a month. And then I'll just manage the school community, you make content and then everything goes well. And the fact of the matter is that is the most, that's the furthest thing from um, accurate that it could be. And the reason why they position it that way, it's just part of the game. They uh, obviously, they sell courses on this topic and they wanna position it in a way where it seems to be beginner friendly because they sell to the mass general population. Um, so it's basically just a marketing tactic to make it seem really easy, which makes sense 
it's part of the game again but in reality this business model is probably the furthest thing from beginner friendly um, that you can imagine being an operator being a growth operator is is so much more than just building a school community and selling it for 27 dollars a month and just hope and just praying that the creator can sell it actually requires a lot of skills to one create a real business out of it to make it last and three for it to actually sell and get people results it's a whole business that requires a lot of skills a lot of moving parts and i'm kind of here to break down to you as someone who is doing it at a multi six figure a month um level i'm dealing with those kind of numbers what it means and what are the skills that it requires me to have learned to to um to efficiently run this business and actually make enough money off it to live in somewhere like this or whatever it is. The first flaw in that is the fact that any creator can just sell a low ticket community within any niche. Like it just does not work. You can pair up with 30 content creators and maybe one of them will be able to sell some spots if they just put a, a, a school link in their bio and try to sell for $27 a month. On top of that, the way they pitch it is that you're gonna be taking 50% of the business and you just run the community and they just make content. And that's just the most vague thing on earth. Like that's just not gonna work. No one that actually sells um, and makes money off the internet as an influencer is gonna give you 50% of the business if they know they can sell. Like sure, you can maybe get some dumb fitness influencer to give you 50% um, of their business. Uh, but the reality is anyone who gives you 50% of their business is not gonna allow it's not gonna make any money They're not gonna be able to sell um, They have no trust with their audience, etc, cetera, etc cetera. Obviously, they've never sold anything successful in the past because if they did they wouldn't give you 50% of their business um, So that's the first flaw So let me break down to you exactly what I do and what I look for in a creator and the skills that I I had to acquire in order to make my clients actual money and get them real results uh, time and time again and just on a little side note setting up a school or setting up a discord is just it's not a skill anyone can set up a school anyone can set up a discord and the more higher level i get the more i separate myself from actually service delivery and helping the creator with their actual product and just handling front end and back end stuff as far as their systems goes and putting systems into place so they can actually turn their views into money because at the end of the day my goal is to help the creator make money and whatever if that's through a higher ticket offer and help set up their sales team blah 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 we'll get into that um, but my job is to solely help the creator make money from the videos they post um so yeah so first things first what i look for in a creator to pair up with is someone in the make money online niche so the reason you guys have heard this a million times on my channel but the reason why i pair up with make money online creators is because if there's a program in place that's going to allow the person that invests to make their money back they're gonna be much, much more likely to buy, right? Because everyone wants to make money. And if you have the solution to their problem, they'll buy it, right? And so I'm not gonna pair up with a cooking creator that sells cooking fucking uh, tutorial videos. Like I'm not gonna do that, right? To find a creator that can is educational and that sells education to their audience. So their audience has to want to learn what the creator is doing. And the majority of times, educational creators um, are teaching something about money. And the people who teach something about money the people who watch them are interested in money and so they're much more likely to buy something from that person. So majority of the times I'm working with make money online creators, uh, they sell the best. And if you actually have a good program and a good product, it can change people's lives, which is a really cool thing to see. And so yeah, that's one of your first roles is to figure out what the actual offer is. How can you create the offer and position it in a way that people will buy it? What do people want? And how can I put this into fruition to where people see the offer and they say, oh, this is the solution to my problem. Second is you have to figure out um, the price point of this offer. To be honest, it takes a very, very special type of creator to be able to sell a low ticket $27, $57, $75 a month program and get it up to 50K a month or get it up to 100K a month. You have to be, you have to have a very, very special creator to do that. So your best bet for majority of creators is to actually sell a higher ticket offer because it's way easier to sell uh, five people at $2,000 to make 10K than it is to sell 200 people at $50 um, on a low ticket offer to make 10K. So majority of the creators will spend, that's the first mistake, the way that it's positioned in the market is that a lot of people, they think the only way to be a growth operator is to sell a $27 a month offer and hope that it gets up to 50K a month. Um, majority of creators will be very, 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 very much better off actually selling a higher ticket offer that's more scarce than trying to sell a million people into their low ticket offer because 
they just don't, most creators just don't have enough pull to do that and don't have, a, don't have much authority to do that. So after you craft the offer and craft the actual price point of the offer, you have to create some type of funnel. So how are you actually gonna take people from watching the video to actually putting their credit card into the payment page? How are you gonna do that? There's a lot of moving parts in between that, but that's the actual funnel itself. Like for example, for one of my clients, I'm setting up a webinar funnel. So they're gonna join a live free class once a week. They're gonna go down the funnel and then at the end, they're gonna get pitched on the offer. Or another example would be, you know, you guys always see these creators with the, in their bio, it says DM me scale to start or whatever it is. You uh, send all your traffic to the DMs and then you have them watch a special video that you craft out, AKA a VSL. Um, and then they go through that VSL and then they have to opt in. And once they opt in, you have to have someone close them in the DMs. That's just another example. There's so many moving parts to this and so many things that come in between, like creating a VSL and, and being able to script an effective VSL that's copyrighted. And if, like there's so many skills that go into it and it's such a broad term to be a growth operator to be able to do all these things as a beginner is just, it's, it's inaccurate, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, if you're running a higher ticket offer for 2000 3000 5000 even $6,000, someone is gonna to have to take the sales calls. And if you have no sales experience, it probably won't be you. You have to do appointment setting. You have to so have someone book in the meetings for the closer. You have to have someone closing the deals. The, all those things are skills that you attribute over time, right? You don't just know sales. You don't just know appointment setting. You don't just know copywriting. You don't just know how to script a VSL. These things are actual skills that take time to learn. And on top of that, another thing you have to do is run email campaigns. Like if you're running a webinar funnel, for example, you have to send emails to the person to get them to show up to the webinar. Or run SMS campaigns. You have to send them texts to show up to the webinar. There's so many moving parts like email campaigns, SMS campaigns, scripting VSLs, managing sales teams. These are all things that I do on a daily basis that are skills that are not talked about online when talking about growth operating because they're telling you you can just make a school community, put it as $37 a month and make a fuck ton of money. That's not how it works. I mean, you can get a creator that can do that. Um, my first creator, that was very successful. Thankfully, he was good enough and he was high leverage enough to the point where we scaled our MRR all the way up to $70,000 a month. And then once we got to 70,000, or once we got to like $12,000 a month or something in MRR, we launched a high ticket offer. And what does a high ticket offer require? It requires setters and closers um, and customer support people. There's so many moving parts within it and all these things are require skills, right? To learn over time. And so at the end of the day, basically what I do now more than anything is run high ticket offers. Um, so I'll pair up with a drop shipping creator, for example, or e-commerce creator, and he wants to put together like a one-to-one -one coaching program. I'll create the ClickFunnels landing page and I'll put the, I'll script them a VSL and put it on there. And then I'll put the application below and then I'll hire a setter and I'll hire a closer. And if you can do this right, it'll make a lot, a lot of money. That's actually what I did yesterday for that 11.5K day. But again, there's, there's much more that goes into it than just creating a school community. Creating a school community is the last thing I worry about. I barely even do that. I just have the clients do it because it's honestly, it's not a skill. Anyone can do that. But what they can't, but what these creators can't do is they don't know how to hire appointment setters. They don't know how to hire closers. They don't know how to manage a sales team. They don't know how to script a VSL. They don't know how to make a ClickFunnels landing page. These are the roles that I take on as a growth operator that make me valuable enough to be able to take a percentage of whatever I make. And so I provide all these services and then I take a cut of whatever I generate them and uh, it's a win-win because as, as time went, went on, I got better and better and I refined my skills and figured out what worked and what didn't. And now I'm able to make a substantial amount of money from just helping these people sell their coaching offers because I fill the gap in what they don't know how to do. So I guess I just wanted to give you guys a, a little overview of what you're actually getting into when becoming a growth operator. Um, and I'm not trying to discourage you from starting this business model because it changed my life. And, I, and for me to sit here and tell you that it can't change yours as well is ridiculous. And many of you guys can make it work. But to think and to be positioned in the market as a super beginner friendly business model is just not accurate. Um, now, if you're just him, bro, and you learn really fast and you can figure things out really quickly, then go for it, bro. Run it up. Go make it back. Because if you do it right, you can make a fuck ton of money. Um, there's so much potential in this industry of selling info um, that there's a lot, a lot of money to be made. And if you get good at what you do, you can make a fuck ton of money. But if you're a complete, complete beginner, that has never done online business before, I would suggest you start out with something simpler, like one step of the process, like being an appointment setter or learning high ticket sales or being a copywriter even. Like there's a lot of stuff that you could do that will put you in the info space and get you in the process of selling info without having to manage everything and figure out everything. But again, um, like for me example, I had experience selling my own offer before, I had experience beforehand before this really took off for me but I popped off pretty quickly and it made me deal with pretty big numbers at a very fast rate and I learned really quickly and I learned a ton of skills really fast um, and it's made me a more valuable person to everyone 
and it helps me make a lot more money because I was forced to learn those skills so fast. And if you think you're one of those guys that can figure it out and be a quick learner and be adaptable and figure things out really, really quickly, then go for it, jump into it, see if you can land a client through DMs. And once you land a single client, you can get that testimonial. Once you do good work, you can start posting on YouTube, you could get more creators coming to you. Um, and it's an awesome business model. Like I'm not gonna sit here and shit on it the whole video because it made my life. Like I was, I would still be living at my parents' house if, uh, if it wasn't for this business model. But at the end of the day, any business model works, whether it's fucking dropshipping, whether it's Amazon FBA, whether it's any of these things, all these things actually work and there's people making money in them. Um, but it's always the people who are good at it that make money, you know what I'm saying? Making money is really just a byproduct of your skill set. Like the only reason why I make money right now is because I'm providing so much value to other people and making them so much more money than what they're paying me that they're okay paying me that, you know what I'm saying? Like the real fun part about this business is actually getting good at what you do and being able to make people a ton of money and just see them value you as a person. That's the coolest part, right? And then all these things like watches and all this shit that doesn't matter it comes as a byproduct and it's fun. It helps you live your life. But again, I just wanted to clear that up because I think growth operating is like positioned in the market so wrongly that it just doesn't even make sense what they're talking about anymore. Um, I just wanted to come in here and, and as someone who actually does business models, not just trying to sell a course, um, I wanted to come on here and talk about it and tell you guys what I think and what goes into it and the skills I've learned um, from picking up these clients and making them a lot of money and making myself a decent amount of money. I just wanted to kind of be transparent so yeah, the only thing I'm gonna pitch you on right now is my free Telegram. I have a free Telegram channel um, where I literally just talk about growth operating and I send voice notes. I don't have an email list, I don't do any of that bullshit. I wake up in the morning and I'll send a voice note talking about something specific about growth operating and just dropping a little bit of game for free. So if you wanna join that, you can follow me on Instagram down below and then DM me. Um, I reply to all my DMs if you follow me. So if you follow me on Instagram and DM me, I'll send you that Telegram link. If you don't wanna join that, I could give a fuck. Keep scrolling, keep, keep doing your thing. But I'll catch you boys in the next one. I hope that cleared some things up and um, I'm going to Miami tomorrow. So vlog coming soon and I'm getting some videos with some other really cool people as well um, that are kind of more established in the space. So that should be fun. Anyways, I'll catch you boys in the next one and peace out.